This is Jake from Bitterroot Rambler, and I just got, I think, my new antenna. Well, it's not new, it's it's used, got it off the Samba, but I'll show you basically what my old antenna looks like. It's right here, kind of broken off, kind of flops around, and uh, needs to be replaced. So, I'm going to pop that package open and uh, see what's in there. Hopefully, maybe today I'll have a new antenna. Fair enough. It's my antenna. It's an NOS. Well, it's not new, I guess. It's, it's definitely used. But, um, it's going to look a heck of a lot better than the antenna that's on there. It's old school. It's even adjustable. So, my new antenna. Pretty stoked. It's like uh, got a little warm on the end. The plug here. That's okay. Fix that. Okay, so I almost got the antenna all the way off here, and I just wanted to show you guys. Pulled this thing off. See all the rust corrosion around this. I'm going to have to clean that up. There's no gasket between uh, the body here and the antenna housing. So um, After looking at this antenna and then looking at the other antenna, here's my old, old one. Um, I think what I might end up doing is kind of using the best parts off of both of them and put them together um, because my old antenna, the cord on it's still good. The cord on this newer antenna I just got isn't that great. But this is all nice and shiny. I don't know, we'll see what we can do. Um, important thing is to uh, get this rust cleaned up. And um, get it sealed up because obviously there's moisture getting in there. All right, I think I figured out uh, what I'm going to do with these antennas. Um, you see here, this is the old antenna. Um, this part I'm not going to be using. I'll be using the new part from the new antenna, obviously, so it's not broken. And then I'll use the old mount. The original one, A, because it's chrome, and this one's plastic, not the one that I just got, and because it works with the, the old mounting hardware that was on the van that works with the uh, antenna line that goes to the console that was the original one on the van because it's in a lot better shape than uh, the one I got from the guy off Sa the Samba. He didn't show me this, but I got it for 10 bucks, so um, it's well worth, well worth it. Uh, basically, I just robbed uh, this part off the new antenna I got in the mail. Oh, plus this gasket, too. This gasket's in great shape, and this uh, was missing on the van, and that's why I had all those problems with the rubbing and the rust on the body there. So that will be, uh, that's a huge bonus. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean up the rust, and then I'm gonna install the antenna. Alright, so got the antenna installed. Looks pretty good. Got it off the Samba for $10. Um, and uh, it's perfect. Um, so, this is the gasket that was off the antenna that I ordered. And here's the antenna itself. I ordered that. that and then I used the old adjustment 
piece right here to adjust the angles on the antenna from the original. Um, and the original uh, line that runs to the console uh, worked with this, which was better than what I got in the mail with this. So, out of the two pieces or two antennas together, made one nice antenna. I think it turned out pretty good. It's pretty tarnished, old looking. I like the way that uh, tarnished chrome looks. I don't like real shiny chrome. Um, anyways, if you like fixing up old Volkswagen buses or traveling, uh, road trips, getting out in the woods, fly fishing, if you like moving in Montana, um, this might be the channel for you. Go ahead and subscribe if, you, if you're into that type of stuff. This is the Bitter at Rambler and a little video on fixing the antenna. Alright, thank you.